everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, today I feel bad because one of my subscribers, planner babes, planner friends, um, said I don't think I've seen a video of your budget planner. Y'all, I apologize. I just be planning in it and I just never um, showed you guys. So I thought it would be a perfect time to show you. She's not complete. I've been using her since, I think, January. Um, first of all, the cover is from Cloth and Paper. Um, they go out of stock and then they come back. I think they're presently in stock. So you can go over to Cloth and Paper. Um, it doesn't have a strap. I didn't need a strap. Um, it comes with these side pockets here. Make sure that you can see. Um, and I just have these cards, I think, that I got from Sequence and Paper Co. I believe they are like a printable. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, so they're just some money cards or debt cards or, you know, talk about debt. Um, I have some gold cards also. These, I think, are from either Sesame, I believe. And then I have these noted cards here which I believe is from cloth and paper. I'm almost positive those are from cloth and paper. There, notes and to-dos, okay. And then over here, I have my manifestation money. Um, I just have something written down, um, little manifestation words, and then my million dollar, my fake million dollars. And that's where I just see it every time I open my planner. And then these discs are from Levenger. And then this cover, of course, is from Cloth and Paper. And then this dashboard is from Rose Shadow Collection. I love her dashboards, they're so nice. And then this little sheet here of sticky notes and things to do and all that, this is from Poi and Hun. And then I'll let you know right now, pretty much these dividers are from Cloth and Paper, Cloth and Paper. All the circle tabs are from Cloth and Paper. I'm not gonna go through that. Most of the sticky notes are cloth and paper. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been pretty much using this planner since January. Okay, that's just gonna fall. This is from my shop. It's my inbox section, a dashboard from my shop, Rose Shadow Collection. And then these are the monthly, <clears throat> excuse me, monthly inserts that I made. I was gonna bring them to the shop, but it just never happened. I just I needed to tweak them. I wasn't, you know, comfortable with selling them, but they were okay for me. And after looking at them, I noticed I didn't put like holidays on there, none of that. So I was just like, you know, it's okay. It's all right for me. Um, the sinking funds, I don't know why it's up here. And then I have digital envelopes. These are from my shop. And we just skip, I just needs to move. Let me, I don't know why, but I want those in the back so I'll just move those to the back I'll say those and then as you can see in March I didn't come in here because I just wasn't doing anything like in really February March April <laughs> and then this is cloth and paper and then this was May February and May budget, I'm gonna skip March, obviously. This was June. Here are my challenges that I'm doing. This was the $1,000 in 30 days. You all just seen this. My budgets. I feel like I'm missing a budget. Yeah, all that is just monthly budgets. This is pretty much where I stay in monthly and my budgets and my budget breakdowns. This was July, August. So all of this is calendar. So I haven't done September through December. So I'm gonna just skip that. Another Rose Shadow Collection. Cloth and paper. And then here I have schedules. So the reason these little temporary tags are here, tabs, let me show you. The reason they are there because I'm still figuring out my sections. Um, I was going to turn this into a catch-all, so I got this time schedule thinking that would help, um, which I'll see sometimes, which you don't see on camera, is um, 
when I go to get stickers sometimes, I'll just get them out of here and then I'll put them off to the side instead of me just digging through this thing here. So this is just a folder. I love it. <clears throat> and another provider cloth and paper. And then these are from my shop. I don't even know if I have these in here. These are some I had made and was going to sell and I just uh, never did. <laughs> so one of those things I'm testing out. Maybe I'll bring them for 2022 and so these are debt trackers and i actually just um put these in hold on i had a sinking funds section here we go i'll get to it later so this is the debt tracker so what i intend to do now that i'm more on my money is list out the reason i put these in i'm going to put in the debt that i owe and then me paying it off each week or however and then this is a business expense. It's kind of been in here. I just haven't wrote in it yet. So I was also doing a um, business bundle for my business babes, my shop babes who um, have businesses. And I just never got around to showing that. And then this here is from Infinite Lotus. I was trying out different um, inserts trying to figure out which one i wanted and that way i could just buy them already cut and all that good stuff so yeah <clears throat> that's all that is and another section another cloth and paper um i think this is from me and this is rose shadow collection and then these are her notes sections here and then I had just did sinking funds, just roughly drafted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to it. But yeah, I was just on the phone with my sister and we were talking about, you know, credit card debt and just owing and I'm like, it's a terrible feeling. So, and then these are digital envelopes. I'm gonna kind of put that right above that. So as you can see, this is back in January when I did digital envelopes, but I'm going to print another one of these and work on these. Well, I have the back here, so I can do that. But yeah, and the papers aren't even, you know, the plan is not perfect, but like I said, what I do, I mainly use it for the monthly view, my uh, monthly breakdown. Um, let me skip. <clears throat> I just added these challenges in here. I figured it was the perfect place to go. But this is pretty much where I stay. It's on the monthly budget and now the monthly breakdown and the calendar. That's pretty much what I use the most. So that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this quick video of my budget planner. Like I said, it's just a adultish. I'm gonna later go on and add the correct tabs here but once i do i'll do another one but it'll probably be for 2022 um i'm still feeling my way through it i might be in another size by 2022 so but right now i love the half letter oh also let me take it out so this is her outside of her cover um so that's another good thing i can take it like this and it doesn't have to be in the cover so i'm really loving disc for that and then the reason i wanted this also to be my budget planner is that way i could do this you know if i needed to write something i didn't have to take the papers out i could use it like a notebook so yeah that's it um so far, like I said, I've been enjoying using it as my budget planner. Now, I will say that I still um, like do my budget. Let me show you. I don't have the weekly form in there because I use my weekly um, here and my A6. This is my A6. You all have seen it. So like this week, I put my weekly check-in in here because that way I kind of have the things I need to pay every week on me so that goes in here like my after pays all that stuff is in here orders and my spending tracker stays in here but um it's really no point in me kind of putting it in here i thought about putting a spending tracker in here but this stays like on my desk this is always with me so it's easier for me to just write 
in my spending tracker here than coming downstairs. Sometimes I don't come downstairs for the day. So to come downstairs and catch up my spending tracker and all of that. I mean, maybe later I'll put it in there. Like I said, I'm still filling her out. Um, she looks thick, but it's really nothing but months in it and um, the, the monthly budget breakdown, which pretty much all I need. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any questions you have for me, do me a favor, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.